All right. Welcome back, everyone, to episode 51 of White Claw Wednesdays. Uh, oh, yeah. We're bringing it back with the tower uh, on YouTube. You should be able to see this, and uh, it looks magnificent, you know. It does. We had to lower the camera a little bit to get the whole scale of uh, the many layers of this thing. Let's oh, crack man. these open, baby. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Cheers. Cheers up, brother. That was weird. I kind of, I bent my, uh, what do you call these things? Oh, my God. You see that? You bent like the I bent the, the opener, uh, the, the can opener, opener. The can opener. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I've never seen that happen before. <sighs> okay. So, uh, we uh, finally got a new movie. Um, it was released on HBO Max and released in theaters as well. Uh, Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. 1984. The <laughs> sequel to the 2017 movie Wonder Woman. Okay, first of all, I haven't seen it. Have you seen the original one, the 2017? Uh, I have, movie? yeah. Okay. Pretty sure we watched well, it together. What did you think of that movie? I thought that movie was great. I really did. Um, can't really remember the entire storyline, but I... But you remember you enjoyed it while you watched I it. I do remember enjoying it, and yeah. I do remember uh, remembering liking the love interest throughout the movie. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, I forget the the male actor, Chris Pine. Oh, yeah. Chris Pine and Gal Gadot. Dude, Gal Gadot. Really yeah. Really good. Mm-hmm. You know, the sequel was, I would say, definitely disappointing. Um, Re- okay. So I've heard some some pretty bad stuff about it. Yeah. Uh, I've also heard a lot of jokes about the whole like social justice stuff going on. Have you heard about that? I haven't heard that side. Oh, okay. <laughs> Here's the side I'm coming at. Like, I enjoyed yeah. the movie, and but I enjoy almost any superhero movie and almost any movie in general, but Mm -hmm. I enjoyed this movie. And, um, even though I saw the flaws in it, the plot was really dumb. So, I mean, just going forward, I just, let's just say, I'm just going to say, I'm going to go into spoilers. If wait, actually, I don't want to spoil it. Well, I mean, honestly, I don't care. Yeah. So (laughs) it's not that good. It's not that good. And well, I'll probably watch it one day, but when you hear the plot, you'll, you'll be like, Oh, hmm." dude, we should have watched it together. What the heck? Yeah. It's, it's not, I mean, actually, that would be kind of fun because it's it, it's got some dumb parts, and it's like a, it feels like a late '90s, early 2000s type of superhero movie. I don't know what that means. Did you ever see Batman and Robin with George Clooney and uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger? Yeah, I did, but okay. I don't know. Well, if his I whole can even... evil plan was to freeze the planet, was to was to steal diamonds to put into mm. a a laser gun to to freeze the entire planet so he Almost could turn it like, into an ice box. Kind of like like a. Uh... What is it with uh who's the guy that goes uh oh Dr. Evil. Dr. Evil. Exactly. Yeah. But it's it's a kind of like like weird Dr. Evil type plan. Mm-hmm. You have this dude Max Lord who wants this stone that grants you wishes or grants you a wish okay. pretty much. Okay. And he wants the stone and he gets the stone and he wishes to become the stone, of course. So the stone breaks into pieces and it, he absorbs the stone. Wow. Yeah. Sounds I know. like a weird fetish. It it was it was it was a weird it was a weird scene um and uh, yeah so he becomes a stone and then he starts walking around to world leaders pretty much mm. and he starts granting them their wildest wishes. Wow, you are really spoiling the movie. I mean, this is like like no turning back at this. Well, point. I did. I mean, I gave the the warning, the spoiler warning. But really, it's like no, it's, it's fine. It's, it's fine. It's, I don't care. That's it's, all. I'm um. It's uh, he, uh, so the plots the plot just yeah well his plot was to get everybody to wish for what they very wanted basic to. so pretty much he he gets on TV somehow well he he figures out that we have some base that allows us the the United States has some underground base that allows us to broadcast to any place in the world makes sense uh yeah so he gets <laughs> in there and he uses his powers as the stone to mm. pretty much be like hey everybody look into my eyes and wish for what you want and it will come true. Oh. And the whole world <laughs> starts wishing for things. Wow. And, it, and it's like the world uh, erupts into chaos because you have people wishing for nukes and you have mm-hmm, like, mm-hmm. like there's a scene in the movie where um, he goes to the president. Like the first time he goes to the president, uh, the guy with the stone in him, he says, president, Mr. President, what do you wish for? And then the, this is what the president says. He says more nukes. Uh, so part of the w- whole wishing thing is nukes are flying in the air and pretty much Wonder Woman, the way she saves the day is she gets like, she lassos him around the ankle with her, like la- with her lasso of truth thingy. And she pretty much 
connects through his brain through the lasso and then and speaks through him starts so, wish unwishing things exactly so she convinces everybody <laughs> to like be a good person uh yeah yeah and like this big old like superhero speech where she's like be good like you don't need wishes to get what you dream that of that is so cheesy <laughs> and man then, and then everybody <laughs> starts renouncing their wishes and like the world's like getting fixed and everything's going back uh, into place oh lord and then meanwhile while she's doing the speech He's got the lasso wrapped around his ankle, so he starts having his own visions of why he did all this. And, like, you see flashbacks, and get this, he had an abusive father. So he did all this to people, Mm -hmm. uh, and he abused his own son. So it has a realization where he's like, oh, my gosh, my abusive father led me to neglect my son and do this whole weird wish thing. And now I realize that my real wish is just to be a better father to my son than my father was to me and he's like all wow the, <laughs> the whole 360 right there exactly dude. and the nukes are while all this is happening <laughs> the nukes are flying towards their different <laughs> locations around the world and basically <clears throat> max lord has to realize okay my son is my true wish treating him nice and he realizes oh my gosh the nuke is going to kill my son so mm. he like he just runs out into the open and he's just screaming his son's name and his son just his son's name is Alistair. He's just like Alistair. He's just yelling it over and over again. And it and the movie cuts to uh, <laughs> just a big old forest, like a big old lush green forest. Yeah. And the son just walks out of the forest, just a random forest. What? Just because his name is being called, and he just walks out of the forest and just runs up and hugs his dad. And then Max Lord, his dad, yells, "Oh, I renounce my wish." And then the nukes disappear in the air as they're falling towards Classic, the planet. Dude. And the, and and the the government army people are like, oh, the nukes, they just disappear. Mm-hmm. And the other weird thing is that I can't wait till they come out with a cinema sins for it. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> like people are wishing for whatever they want in this movie, and yeah. they're getting it. And the weirdest thing about the rules is, can't you just counter wish things? Well, not even that, but it's the fact that everybody's wishes defy reality and just everything that we know to be normal Mm -hmm. but when you have but then you have wonder woman's wish who Mm -hmm. of course as soon as she picks up the stone she thinks about steve trevor Mm -hmm. you know chris pine Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and he comes back but he doesn't come back to life like you know because he dies in the first movie which was take taking place in world war one and this movie's taking place in 1984 so it's 70 years later yeah and uh he's he's long dead um and this movie decides that it has a magic stone that grants you wishes and it grants everybody's wish the way they want it. But for Wonder Woman, for some reason, her version of the wish is not Steve Trevor coming back to life, but her running into some random hunky dude, talking to him for five minutes, and then he looks like Steve Trevor to her. Okay. Yeah. You, you, so so basically, the, the, rock, the rock can, uh, you know dissolve into little pieces and absorb into a human and have and grant wishes and then grant and the human can grant wishes but it can't bring back somebody from the dead it was it was, it was just it was weird it was weird yeah i get what you're saying you know like, like weird parameters there yeah why why can't we do that but we can do this and there's like no explanation there's for no it. explanation yeah. also why couldn't wonder woman just wish it all away you know like can't you counter wish like someone's like i want a million nukes and one of them was like i want Less than a million nukes in the world, and, and then just it they appear and disappear. And see, the, I think that was that was the <laughs> early that was the early rule of the stone is that you only get one wish on it. Okay, so you only get the one wish, and that's world what, peace. Yeah, just everything's, everything everything's exactly. perfect. And but, then if it's world peace, no one's wishing for bad things. But nobody like right. Okay, right away <laughs> when, when when the whole when, the, when he's looking into the TV and telling everybody yeah. to wish for what they want, the first thing that happens is this guy's arguing with this woman at a at a diner or whatever. And uh-huh. he's apparently Irish. I don't know. And she says, oh, I wish all Irish people were arrested or something like that. Oh, my God. And then Irish people would just start getting locked up outside the diner as he's, like, stunned that she would say this. And then he gets mad that she says this to him. So she's like, oh, I, he's like, I wish you drop dead. Oh. And then she starts having a heart attack. Wow. But I bet that's an awesome like, scene. <laughs> but it's just, it was just such a, it was, it was such a weird move. And then it opened with young Diana. Like it opened, which is younger woman, Wonder yeah. Woman. It opened with her as like a young kid, and the uh, and the first one already covered that very well. And was it the Amazonian? Yeah, or? in the Amazon, in the Amazon island, mm-hmm. on the Amazon island, and it had her doing some X Games X Ninja event t- type thing, 
where she's going through this obstacle course against other Amazon warriors and yeah. they're all uh adults and she's, you know, like a 10-year-old or something and and it I guess it's supposed to show that she's always been strong and but then it it had a theme about not cheating and not taking shortcuts which okay, cool. Didn't Never. didn't Really, I mean, I guess it kind of tied in because people were wishing for things, which is just getting. Yeah, that's true. Which is just taking a shortcut and getting it yeah. right away with yeah. So I guess it kind of tied up. Um, but yeah, but it, you know, it's funny. I cried though, and the movie still made me cry. I almost cried every single Superman <laughs> movie. Like it's almost, it's almost. What was the scene? What was the scene? It was. Do they literally played the same notes? Pretty much the same love notes. You know, to get you, to get you feeling sad that they did in yeah. the first movie. Because if you remember in the first movie, right before. Steve Trevor's going to get in the plane. He's going to fly off in the plane that blows yeah, up. Yeah, and he's yeah. basically telling her, like, I love you. And he gives her the watch and yeah, yeah, walks yeah, away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They pretty much did that same scene, except they flipped it to where she's mm. the one who's having to let go of his dream, like, presence. Because she wishes for him, but and she knows he's not real. Mm-hmm, and, she, mm-hmm. and she's losing her powers because of this wish she made. And the stone, like, takes something away when it gives you your wish. So she loses her powers because she's mm. getting, mm. so she has to have this realization. She's like, I got to stop the villain. Cause there's like 30 minutes left and she's like, Oh God, I got to stop the villain. Yeah. And I'm losing my powers cause I'm hanging out with my old boyfriend who yeah, isn't yeah, real. Yeah, yeah. So she's like, I got to let go of you. I got to basically <laughs> say bye to you again. So they pretty much reverse the roles of, you know, Steve Trevor says bye and goes up in yeah. the plane, saves yeah. the day in the first one. But now it's her going off and saying bye to him. Classic. And like, yeah. And that's, hey, if the, it worked the first time, you know, and that's the don't scene when she starts broken. flying. Oh really? Yeah, dude. Right, <sighs> up, right after she says bye to him, she starts wow. flying. Wow! And dude, and I kept crying. She, kinda, bro. she didn't she fly in the? She didn't. She, didn't she, she, fly. Hadn't, she hadn't flown yet. She would do the thing where she would like lasso around. Lasso yeah. around. That's yeah, right. Yeah, she actually like starts flying and like wow. Fly, and it it brought my tears even stronger. Like, I was crying at the whole Steve <laughs> Trevor part, and then she gets up and takes off, and she's uh-huh, flying. Uh-huh. And I was just like, ooh! And I just I just kept crying. I was like. As a comic book nerd, it just felt very cool to see Wonder Woman fly. You so know? yeah, because she she can do that. So, so was, like, Fuck was this storyline based on the comics? It has to be right. Uh, I or don't is this really... a, this is a whole new one. Well, it had Cheetah in it. Who that's right was played by Kristen Wiig, and she's a comic book villain of Wonder Woman. This Max right. this Max Lord guy, I'm not too sure about. I think he in the he, stone. He is a comic book character. He's just a different like at a uh, iteration in a way. Mm-hmm. Um, but it was definitely, I think, uh, kind of based on the George o- Orwell book, 1984, in a way. And I think that's why it was called 1984 and why it was set there. Because that, I don't know if you remember that book. I don't know if you ever had to read that book in a class. Nope. 1984. It's a big book, a famous book that a lot of English teachers assign. And it's pretty much about, you know, mind control and mind controlling a society. So it was sort of drawing inspirations from that in a way with this whole Max character mm. at the end of the movie, mind mm. controlling people and telling them to wish for what they wanted and causing chaos with that. But I, it, it still seemed kind of like a loose connection to me and the whole 80, the whole eighties thing seemed kind of unnecessary. Uh, yeah, yeah. I feel like you could have said it at any time and it would have been, uh, it would have been fine. But uh, yeah, overall I would say if you, if you have an HBO Max account already, you know, give it a watch. And if, Give it a watch after we spoiled everything after for you. After I spoiled everything, yeah, <laughs> give it a watch. Um, and if you don't, then uh, I wouldn't like sign up for HBO Max just to watch it. I good, you know, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I'm probably just gonna stream it online somewhere, yeah, in 480p. Or just watch it with me. Uh, yeah, we could a few years down the line when I feel yeah. like putting it on again to to have a good chuckle, and a, and a good cry. <laughs> Well, it's kind of disappointing that it's not very good. It is because the first one was really cool. I really enjoyed the first and it one. Didn't, it didn't really bring that same. Uh, it didn't feel, and it was also. It felt like it was kind of lacking Wonder Woman. It didn't. Mm. It didn't have enough Wonder Woman action to me. Mm. That was another. That was another miss. Uh, it's always hard to do the sequel. I think. Yeah, it's, it it's is. always hard because you don't, especially when the first one's good. Like well, when the first well, one's well good, received, and yeah. like a lot of it you know, you can fit in like backstory, you know, like it's the, it's the character development part, but like you've already developed the character. So now, yeah, exactly. you can, you know, you, there's some of it obviously you can do, but it's more focused on the storyline and like how that character ties into it. So yeah, yeah, you really, it's it really, harder. Yeah. It comes down to the story and the sequel. Yeah. Cause you can't, you can't, you can't kill time with origin, which this movie kind of did by opening with that. With young the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's fine. You know, you can do that, but, it can't be like a major part of it, you know. Yeah. But I'll watch it eventually. Um. But you know what else I finished recently, and I told you that I finished. Yeah. What's up? 
and I watched in 4DP because I don't have Disney Plus. Oh yeah, dude, Mandalorian season Mandalorian two. Mandalorian season I, two. I don't dude. think we've talked about that on here. We haven't talked about yeah, it on here dude. because I finished it. I think the day before uh, we recorded with Amanda. Okay, so, and we weren't talking. And we about weren't talking about it like with that. that. Yeah. So. Right. Yeah. Uh really awesome. Cool. Awesome, right? <laughs> I mean that it, last scene. Okay, more spoilers. Yeah, first we're of we're all. we're spoiling the entire season two of the Mandalorian. Like all, if you haven't, episodes. honestly, now that's oh, worth man. getting Disney Plus for the Mandalorian. I would say, uh, yeah, it really is. Uh, whether whether you're there for Baby Yoda, whether you're there for the fact that it's just a great action show, or you're there for you know just all the Star Wars. Here's news the cuts. question: Now that we know the name, mm-hmm. oh, does Grogu? Grogu. Mm-hmm. Do people still keep calling it Baby Yoda? Oh, people. Or was, yeah, people are still gonna call it Baby. Yoda. Do they yeah. call him Grogu? Grogu. Grogu. I I change it up. I go I go Baby Yoda. I go Grogu. You know. I mean, I usually do Baby Yoda when I'm speaking about it out loud mm-hmm. when with other people around, just to, just to keep Grogu, just to put keep everybody on an equal base. You know. Like if you haven't seen it, but even if but I feel like even if you have seen it, yeah. That name's just immediately slipping off some people's minds. Grogu? Yeah. Oh, that's true, yeah. You know? Because <laughs> there are people out there, I, I mean, uh, who probably watch it for Baby Yoda. Oh, for sure. And I... Well, I, now I'm... Now I'm I, that's why I started. I started yeah. off being like, oh, like, Baby Yoda. And yeah. now I'm like, oh, Mando. Yeah. Like, Mando dude, all the way. That dude's such a badass, man. He is cool, man. <laughs> and speaking about crying, dude, that, that final episode when he... When he had to let him when, go, when he and he takes off his helmet. Uh, oh my god, dude, that was so br- Oh, that was tough, man. And it's oh, that was tough. Yeah, man. I love when he's when he's like, uh, they're with. Uh, I think it's the episode before the finale. Um, they're with that one Jedi. I don't know her name. The one with like the the locks. Oh, Ahsoka. Ahsoka. Ah- is that? Is that? Yeah. yeah. That was episode five. Episode five. The, the title of the Jedi. Yeah. So they're they're with her. And she's like, I will try and teach him. And they're trying to do like the rock. Like, oh, he's yeah, trying yeah. like, here, here, like, take this, Grogu, take, uh-huh. take this. And then he pulls out the the little metal ball that like screws into a little shifter in his, in his, his, spaceship. his spaceship. Yeah. And Grogu's like, bang, bang. And he just, he just like forces Immediately it. grabs oh. the ball, yeah. <laughs> and then he gets super happy. I was like, I'm about to cry, dude. That was so sweet. Yeah, that, that baby Yoda is really... It's really cute. So, what do you think about Luke Skywalker coming in at the end there? That actually, I'm glad, spoiler. I'm glad. Yeah, I'm glad you mentioned that because I really, I was, I'm, I'm, I'm like wondering who this is. I'm like, okay, is it Ahsoka coming back? Is it, is it her being like, okay, f- fuck it, I'm gonna train Grogu. Yeah. Or is it Luke? Or is it another Jedi? I was, I was, but then you know, then I saw the the robot hand. I was like, oh shit, it's Luke. And then I'm just hoping that it it's Sebastian Stan. But, yeah. But I'm just, I'm just like, wait, we have talked about this. Not on the podcast. No, though. no, just with Sam. That's right. But that's right. I was like, I was just hoping, like, oh, please be Sebastian Stan. And then he, you know, takes off his hood and, like, it's the CGI deep fake yeah, Luke. Yeah, and yeah. I was just like, <laughs> fuck, dude. Because here's the thing. I was I so ready to cry. Like, he, at that oh, moment, okay, I was ready okay. to start crying. I was like, oh, my God, they're getting Sebastian Stan mm-hmm. to train and play, you know, Luke and train Gogu. I was like, perfect. So Sebastian Stan, real quick, is the guy that plays, plays Winter Soldier in in the Captain America movies. Yeah, yeah. yeah Bucky yeah. Barnes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, just look up Sebastian Stan, Luke Skywalker, and you'll see this photo of him next Un- to striking resemblance. Yeah, it's, like you were showing me the other day, and I was like, "This is like, there's no way this is real. <laughs> like that is it's it's insane, huh? Yeah, it's 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 pretty wild. Um, yeah, but then I see this this CGI face, and I was immediately like, "Ooh!" And I just kind of lost my emotional push. That like I felt I felt the mm. tears coming. I was mm-hmm. like, "Oh my god, it's Luke!" And then it I it went away because it's just it's not that I don't want to see Mark Hamill as Luke Skywalker. It's the fact that it's just it it kind of takes me out of what I'm watching when, when it looks CGI. when it's CGI and it's really not that well done. And also, yeah, that's what, that was the thing with me is I was like, this doesn't really look it didn't look that, that great. Great, like yeah. I remember seeing uh, I can't even remember his name, but the the general that they did for. Uh, Tarkin? I don't know what his name was, but they CGI'd one of the main generals uh, with the Ray series. Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. And he looked so much better to me than Luke did. Yeah, I was like, it is is uh, Grand Grand Moff Tarkin. Yeah, he was one of the, there you go. He was one of the Empire generals. Um, And he looked so much better to me back then. I don't know. Maybe it's because he had a lot more texture on his face because he's older. 
so they had to put more detail into it. Oh, you're talking Luke about is younger. You're talking about the CGI version of him and Rogue One looked better than the what we just saw in the Mandalorian. Yes, exactly. I was thinking the same thing. And, and I go ahead. I was just gonna say I think it. I think it. It it emulates that they're not going to have Luke Skywalker be a big part of the series. Is what I what I think. yeah is exactly because they if they're gonna CGI him in which they For just that set scene, that standard yeah then he's not gonna be a big part you know because or else they're CGIing him a ton and they're mm-hmm. not gonna do that you know mm-hmm. I mean I can't I don't really know what it takes to like CGI a person but I'm sure it takes a lot of special effects yeah definitely yeah um yeah but what got me back to the emotional state I was in right before I saw the CGI Luke face was, was man, was Mando taking off his helmet. Mm-hmm. Like it, it go into that. That was, was insane. That, that's what I was like. Okay. Yeah. You, you just made up, you just made up for that face. I almost wish that they figured out a way to reveal his face uh-huh. in that moment. Only. In that moment only. Yeah. Because we had seen it, I think twice before that. Yeah. The end of season one, final episode of season one. He takes one. it off in the face of the droid. In the face of the droid. And then, uh, middle of season two, when he's when he's going undercover, uh, trying to find out where the child's been taken, where mm-hmm. baby, where baby Yoda's been taken, yeah. and he he goes to the to the computer to the coordinates and takes off his helmet to get the face scan because yeah, he knows yeah. it's like now or never, like save the child, right? Exactly. Yeah, but I but it was still a really special moment because it was the first time that Grogu was seeing his face. It was the first time a lot of characters were seeing his face. Yeah, a lot of because yeah. At that point, characters. only the robot. The, from the season finale, actually, no one had seen his face because even Bill Burr. Bill Burr saw his face. Well, oh, he did. He, he did. did see he his saw face. his face. That's right. It was pretty much Bill Burr because they were sitting at the table. After. Yeah, yeah. It was pretty much Bill Burr, uh, the guy, the em- the Empire uh, soldier who died in that conversation with Bill Burr and Mando. That's right. And then, and then the robot from season one. Right. Yeah. Right. But it was definitely the first time the main, yeah, the main squad was seeing, uh, seeing him. Although he never turned his face around. That's so true. It was yeah. like the back of his head. Seen the back of his head. And before uh, the general called uh, Mando over to the table, and Bill mm-hmm. Burr came, or actually, he went over to question him while he was like on the coordinates thing. Yeah. Bill Burr g- comes over to save him. Mm-hmm. I don't think Bill Burr saw his face either. I think it was the back of his head. Oh, okay. I see. Okay. But still. Possible, yeah. Yeah. I think it would have been so cool if, like, if, like, the people watching the show hadn't even seen his face you until know? that point. Yeah. Cause like most fans probably, oh, I take that back. Some fans wouldn't know the actor did, or did you look know up who, the actor? Did you know who it was before he took off his helmet? And yeah, one? yeah. Yeah. Right. I did. Yeah. But that's only because I, by the I'd way, known the actor, he, he, uh, he played Max Lord in the new wonder woman movie. He played the, he really? the guy, the guy who, who, He's who taken off, absorbed man. the stone. Yeah. He is He's great. Yeah. He's great. He played the villain in Equalizer too. Also, it, he's in Star Wars too. The movies, right? No, dude, that's Oscar Isaac. Is that a different character? The guy who's playing Poe Dameron, the pilot. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> Oscar Isaac. <laughs> Where have I seen him before? Oscar Isaac? No, the the, the Mando. What's oh. his name? Well, he 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 kind of first he he blew up mainstream. Uh, I would say in Narcos playing. Uh, there you go. Playing the Spanish detective. There you go. There you go. Uh, that was a, that was a great. That That's was a, a great, great show. Netflix show. Yeah, when they were, I only watched the first two seasons because the first two seasons are when they're going after uh, uh, Pablo. Pablo. But uh, Pablo. those first two seasons were, were real, real nice. Yeah. Those first two seasons were great, and I love the relationship between Pablo and Tata. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Tata. God, I love that, dude. Uh, oh, man. All right, anyways, back to Star Wars. Okay. I have some criticisms. Of the, not the end scene, but the scene of Luke Skywalker or the Jedi yeah. coming in to sort of save the day against yeah, those um, all the... dreadbots. Dread yeah, dreadbots, I think they were called. Okay, first of all, I thought that they could use a little more uh, sword swinging action against, like when he's like deflecting the shots, I just... I you, didn't, f- you didn't feel like he was swinging his sword enough to block the bullets that were getting shot at him? Yes. Yeah. I don't know. It just didn't seem like I was like, "What? Like, come on! Like, there's like thirty droids in front of him, mm-hmm. you know? Like, there's got to be more coming at him." Mm-hmm. And even in like the the movies, like people they'd be like they'd be like swinging it in a circle, you know? And I thought that was sick. Yeah, I, I mean like, that, that's the prequels. That's how they use their lightsabers in the prequels. Yeah, exactly. 
I was like, you could have done something like that. You know? But but you got to think Luke's Luke's original trilogy. So he fights with the Force slow. Like he's a slow dude. Like he moves. I'm just saying with the way they've set up the fighting and the way they've set up the movies. And See, the, you're deep into it. See, I'm I not, I can't I can't yeah. connect those dots like that. Because because Luke isn't Luke isn't old or new Republic fighting files the fighting style in terms of Jedi. Old Republic was like when there were just tons and tons and tons and tons of Jedi. Mm-hmm. New Republic was what we saw in the prequels. Mm-hmm. Very good amount of Jedi. And then we had the original movies, mm-hmm. New Hope, Empire, and Return of the Jedi, which are, you know, there's like two Jedi left pretty mm-hmm. much. There's just a handful mm-hmm. of people mm-hmm. who know the Force. Mm-hmm. So it's the fighting style is just completely kind of change. Good you point. Know? That's a good point. So you have Luke and you have an older era of Star Wars, an older style of fighting of a Jedi where... He's probably using force in ways you don't even see. Mm-hmm. Whether it's mm-hmm. keeping a robot's finger from pressing the trigger too many times, or you know, completely like just dodging something that you can't like can't really see. Like he moves it with the force. Like I'm, yeah, I'm saying he's still kicking ass. I get what even, you're saying, even though he's I doing mean, it slowly. He, I, that was my <laughs> only criticism. Was like it just didn't seem. Because we, it didn't seem yeah. like he was blocking shots, mm-hmm. basically, yeah. or there wasn't enough shots coming at him. And maybe, mm-hmm. you know, maybe he was doing some weird, you know, force off the the finger trigger thing. But you like you like that though. I do like that reference. I mean, where he's where he's that good in the force, <laughs> where he can where he can take all the individual fingers of the robots and hold them back from pressing the they trigger. Should, too many they times. should show that. They should like show like a, a droid being. Like, and you know what? Like trying to do that. That was the coolest part, I think, about the whole new Disney Star Wars movie trilogy with Force Awakens, yeah. uh, Last Jedi, and uh, Rise of Skywalker. Is that <clears throat> is that scene in the very first one, The Force Awakens, within the first 10 minutes of the movie, I think the coolest thing in the whole trilogy happened. Hmm. And it's because we saw something new with the Force, and it was Kylo Ren stopping that blaster shot and just holding it there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. He's just, he's just and he's just doing he's walking around, he's doing his stuff, he's interrogating Poe, he's blah, and the blaster shot is just is just vibrating mm-hmm, and stuck mm-hmm. still in there. Like that shows that the force is something that when it's super powerful can do stuff like what I'm saying where mm-hmm. he's holding back individual fingers mm-hmm. from triggers while still mm-hmm. blocking stuff. That was sick. I forgot about that. Yeah. And then they also showed that you could like I don't even know how to describe it, but in that they were literally like fighting each other through the force, even though they weren't. Yes, it yeah. was like space. It was that was rise, space that was a, travel. That it was, was like rise teleportation. Of, that was rise of Skywalker. Almost. Yeah, that dude. Remember that? That's part? cool. That was really dope. Yeah. I mean, say what you want about. There were some sweet parts in that. Uh, <clears> every <throat> every one of those Disney Star Wars movies, whatever you think about them, they they did all have very cool moments. I think. Oh I, my god! I think in the first one it was the block, the the held laser bolt. I think in the second one it was where she goes in the light speed, mm-hmm. and then she she light speeds through the other ships. Remember that? She light speeds into. The Remember other the ship? commander in the Last Jedi who's arguing with Poe, and she's like, "I'm not abandoning my ship," and like. She's like I've I have a plan and she I do she enters that. light speed and they go yes. through light speed and, yes. and all the sound cut out in the theater. Yeah. And there's like whoosh, and it was I do remember that. I do remember that. It was so cool. And then the Rise of Skywalker you had uh that begs another question though. You had them exchanging the lightsabers through the force. I mean that was that, like that what everyone in the theater was like oh yeah dude that was so sick. Man. God oh, that was cool. God. Yeah, he just pulls it out, <laughs> and it's such like a, oh, what's up, you yeah. know? Oh, man, yeah, so, sick. I forgot, what was, like, the, what was the, um, the explanation for, like, their connection? Like, why were they so connected again? Like, why were they the ones that had the ability to sort of communicate through the Force? I don't know if that was covered. Hmm. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if that was, I don't know if that was covered. They, they. To be determined. They, they. Obviously, they're powerful, yeah. you know, Jedi in this All case. All I can now say that... is they're powerful Force users. They're, like, extremely powerful Force users. I mean, Rey was able to do Jedi mind tricks within an hour of learning that she knew that she had the Force, mm-hmm. pretty mm-hmm. much. Um, yeah, so, I mean, clearly they, yeah. They okay. Know, they know their shit. <clears throat> well, yeah, they do. I mean, they killed Palpatine. Yeah, they did. And they so. killed Snoke like he was nothing. That's true. Like he was just like, who? That scene was dope, too. <laughs> that was cool, yeah. Just, I can see oh. him 
turning the lightsaber yeah. and to kill his worst enemy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> and I love how he, how he, like, flicks the lightsaber over and catches yeah, it. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Good times. And that fight scene that they have after against those guards is pretty sweet. That is, because those yeah. are, like, the freaking... They've got, like, the... The, those laser staffs they're like yeah, yeah. they're like scythes type yeah, they're things scythes, yeah oh speaking about awesome weapons in star wars that black uh, lightsaber in the mandalorian dude what is that the dark saber the dark dude. saber man it, it's a mandalorian weapon because in the ancient times the mandalorians oh, yeah they were saying this the yeah. mandalorians fought the jedis so they yes. were they were yes. they were against each other and that was the mandalorians way of you know, I see. handling their shit in the lightsaber battle was they had their dark sabers. Except it can't cut through. Uh, what is that? Veskar. Veskar. Yeah, that's right. That's what his armor's made of, and that's what his uh, his staff his is made staff of. His staff is made of. That's right. And and the same goes with lightsabers. I mean, lightsabers can't cut through it. Yeah, right. lightsabers and dark sabers, same same diff pretty much. But the dark saber is different because it's. So that's crazy. How Veskar never really I, was that a thing with um, the uh, yeah that's like Boba thing. Boba Fett and stuff. Like the lightsaber couldn't cut through his armor. Uh, yeah. I mean, well, uh, I don't, I, I don't know if that was established as a thing until the Clone Wars, because I've been watching the Clone Wars, and that that is established in there in terms of Mandalorian Got order and, and the plot. Got of that. it. So that Got has it. been around for for definitely a decade at least. Yeah. All right. So back to the Luke Skywalker thing. Uh, I know we're bouncing all over the place here. Okay. Yeah. So my one critique was that he wasn't blocking shots. As mm-hmm. much as I would have liked. Yeah. You know, maybe I'm being a... Understandable critique. And then, but the one thing I loved about it was right at the end when he's like coming through, they like start, sh- they like, it's almost like a first person, I think I remember it as like a first person, like you see his hands like doing all the little force pushes and mm-hmm. stuff. And then you see like the droid in the background, he goes, Pfft. he puts his hand out and he just starts crushing it like... Yeah. And it oh, just, it, it, so just, sick. And the, the droid just starts like crinkling. <laughs> Yeah, that was tight. Yeah, I felt so I, sick. Yeah, that's what's uh, it's, when a Jedi is really powerful. I, 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 it seems like they're just, you know, it's like how how do I want to destroy you? You know, like do I want to like take the time to carve through all these droids like butter, or do I just take my force hands and just like clap together and just slam them all into pieces? You know, it's just like the options are. They're really just toying at that point, you know, because he 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 could have just walked in there and just done that with all of them, probably. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Like I'm gonna cut through him a little bit. He's practicing, man. He's practicing. Yeah, he's just you know he's getting a workout. Like, all, right, all right, I gotta I gotta <laughs> practice my my reflection, you know. Yeah. If I was like if I was a Jedi, I would just come into any doorway and just go, and just like crush everything against the side of the wall and just like keep going. <laughs> that reminds me, I, have you? <laughs> Are you the kind of guy who sometimes, you know, will casually just do a quick, like, force hand movement when you're walking through uh, automatic doors? Because <laughs> I do that all the time. I Sometimes I do it when I, like, there's wind around. Oh, I'm more okay. of an airbender than anything. More of an, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because I have done that in so many hotels. And whether, whether like, I other people are around, like, if other mm-hmm. people are around, I'll just do, like, a casual, like, hand wave, you know, just, like, a little <laughs> by my side, just a little open or just a little close. Yeah. But if... If I know nobody's looking, yeah. I will get in a full force. Like <laughs> I will bend, full stance I'll bend stuff. my knees and do like <laughs> do a full hand motion. And oh yeah, you know. dude. Oh yeah. Like sometimes, like there was one time where there was like this little dust devil going around. Yeah. And I just literally got like out there. I was like with Amanda or something, so I wasn't embarrassed. And I mm-hmm. just like stood my ground. And I started like moving, moving my hands in circles, and I was like, "Check this out." <laughs> <laughs> That's me, dude. The force. You know how? Oh man. All right, we've asked this question on here before, but like, yeah. you know, what what would your superpower be? Oh you yeah, know? yeah. Honestly, I would probably choose the Force. You would choose the Force, but like, people don't consider it to be. Like well, you don't you don't think of that as like a superpower, but like it's telekinesis, pretty much. Pretty much, but, yeah, it is really. But I guess with what we've seen and. But it's it's more than that. It's it more seems than that. like more it's than like that. With what got, Star Wars has, it's has the Force, man. Yeah. It's telekinesis, but like you can also like create pressure you yeah, know you can yeah which just attest to luke just crushing the droid yeah like oh you know what that reminds me i was just watching a clone, War episode, clone wars episode i'm surprised they don't fly actually go ahead where pad padme and anakin are on a are on a mission and they're underwater it's an underwater mission so both padme and anakin have these like you know breathers you know breathing oxygen tank yeah glass you know what what is the word for that when, when you have like a 
helmet on and you breathe through it and you see through the glass on it like a submarine helmet is that what it's called i mean that's a good question yeah, that is a good is there a technical term for submarine helmet? it's the ones where like, they put in their mouth and it just like it like goes over right pretty much or is it not like that? It's not really like that. It's more like oh, like a, something else, like a straight up like like a like a helmet you're wearing that you can breathe underwater in. Like you got you got a chamber on your back. Like you're it's like scuba gear. It's like a scuba helmet. Scuba helmet. There you go. Yeah. Probably. So pretty much Padme gets her scuba helmet bitten by this evil shark alien dude and it gets a crack in it and it starts mm. filling up with water. And Anakin uses the force and creates a bubble around her head to breathe in. So he takes nice. like one of the single particles of water mm-hmm. and he expands it to where it's created a bubble overhead where she's breathing the oxygen in. Interesting. And then Jar Jar Binks, who's on the mission with him, he hawks a loogie and he spits it on her and it covers up the crack in her helmet and she's able to breathe again. Classic. It was just, <laughs> Physics is really just out of the it's window. Out of, it's, out of the, <laughs> it's out of the window. Yeah. Water pressure? Never heard yeah, of it. No, no, no. <laughs> And also, they're using their lightsabers underwater too. So I don't know how that's working. Well, yeah, we don't know the we don't know the uh, science. We don't know the it. physics of a lightsaber, but they're swinging that thing around underwater <laughs> like it's like it's a fucking one of those noodles. You'd think it would just uh, shock everything, you mm-hmm. know? Yeah, or the because water it is like electricity. Or the water would get into the hole where the exactly. blade comes out. It would short circuit. Short circuit. <laughs> it's like, what the hell's going because on? Because there's scenes where, like, you know, I think there's a scene where I think it's Luke's Luke's lightsaber breaks. And it's like, and it won't turn on, you know? Is that a scene? <laughs> it's got to be a scene because I remember scene? somebody's lightsaber breaks. <laughs> and it's like, he tries to turn it on. It's like, it like doesn't, it doesn't turn on. Okay. I'm not going to, I'm not going to step on Ryan's side and say that someone's <laughs> lightsaber breaks in the Star Wars series because I can't remember that. Okay. Right I got to look it up, dude. I, I can remember Luke having to call R2-D2 to shoot his lightsaber out in the third one but i mm. and i can remember luke losing his lightsaber in the second one does an empire a lightsaber get broken break in or star wars i don't know i just can't i can't think of them doing aha that. what you'll recall that luke skywalker's oh, lightsaber was broken in in two when ray and kylo ren engaged in the force tug war after the former refused Okay, that's not what I'm talking about, but... <laughs> it's like, oh, different scene. But I'll take it. All right, whatever. I'm wrong. No, yeah, no, it's okay. It's okay. It's it's, I, it's totally okay. No, I'm not I'm not hurt. I'm just really upset. Fun fact. Sam- <laughs> <laughs> Samuel Jackson just wanted a purple lightsaber. Is that really? Yeah, he just he asked George Lucas, can I have can my lightsaber be purple? Well... What a guy. I know, I which I really like. What liked, a guy. I, the purple lightsaber is sweet. The purple lightsaber was always my favorite. Yes. Always my favorite. Was so I mean, I I rem- I can't tell you how many target toy sections I went through hoping that one day I'd come across the Mace Windu lightsaber. I never did. Dude, did you know? Do you know like the 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 lightsabers that that I have? I've got like the lightsaber. The we- movie the movie prop ones? <clears throat> like yeah. The, the, yeah, they're really heavy and they have like the permanent that it doesn't push in; it just stays out. It stays out, yeah. and then it lights up. It lights literally. up like really well. Um, oh yeah, I remember we used to fight with those. So yeah, we we had some good times. Holy shit! I just remember that. My God. Okay, there was a purple lightsaber, but it was always sold out, and it was way more expensive too. Yeah. Which just attests to how cool the purple lightsaber was. Little did Samuel Jackson. I wonder if he knew that he was like, "I'm gonna ask for a purple one," and the and the and. My purple lightsaber is going to sell more than all the other I ones. Don't know, I don't know if he was thinking that or because it just it just happened that way, you know. I mean, purple is badass. Purple's badass, and when you're the only one with a purple lightsaber, you know, you're, is he the, he's the only one, huh? The only character I know with a purple lightsaber. Yeah. Wow, that is iconic. Yeah, I know it's dope, and I and he still wants to come back. By the way, like he's he's talked about being down to come back to play Mace Windu. He's like. You know, I'm very down for my character to have not died when he because he's like I had he falls he's like, he falls he's like I had the force I could have you know yeah exactly I can get out of that and yeah, I I'm, I I'm with it I'm like you can get out of that we didn't see you die we just saw you <laughs> fall out the window I'm down dude and he, crazier things have happened he defeated Lord Sidious he did like he beat like he's that good of a Jedi where, he did that's right and the only reason why he gets you know defeated is because he gets cheap shotted. Uh, 
by Anakin because Anakin betrays him because mm-hmm. he thinks Anakin's there to help mm-hmm. him. And he boom, also an like, iconic scene. Yeah, dude. Oh. Those that lightning scene when when Sidious light 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 lightnings him when he's just I mean well the entire time he's like using lightning right isn't he oh that pretty much that whole when fight like, yeah. Yeah, and because Mace Windu's just blocking with his lightsaber, with his yeah. lightsaber yeah. and he's like battling him like that. Yeah, fuck. That's man. what I love about that lightning. It's like I can block him with my lightsaber. Yeah, like Jedi's can't use Jedi's can't use lightning, but they can block it. Oh, and I love when Yoda when, when he when he absorbs the lightning when he's fighting Sidious, and he and he takes oh, the lightning in his right. hand and, and he, he like forms it, balls it up in a ball of energy, and he throws it back at him. <laughs> that shit's so cool. Wow. You know what? This is why you need to get Disney Plus, is because these movies are all on, everything's oh, on there. Fuck, you might be right, dude. <laughs> Honestly, because I, I've really been wanting to like do a marathon of just everything, dude. like just commit myself to every single Star Wars. It's even even the Clone Wars, dude. It's all. Dude, I'm, I'm telling you, the Clone Wars is very cool. like in chronological order, so I can I can understand it. You know, yeah. The Clone Wars like, fills I, in so many gaps. It's it's really wild. I mean, it's 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 cool stuff. I might do it. I might do it. I might. Dude, you know what I want to see? What? Dude, we were talking about Star Wars for like 40 minutes. <laughs> yeah, it's a Star Wars. So episode. cool. All right. I want to see like, you know how I'm like, uh, maybe is it, what is it? Is it Avatar? Fuck. The Last Airbender? It might be. No. What is it? Anyways. Ah, Harry Potter. Jeez, ah, I'm yes, stupid. Yes. You know they're like they're casting spells and the uh-huh. spells will like hit one another and it's like they're they're battling They're like holding it together. With, like, like their mind in physical Yeah, they're like pushing, whatever it they're is, pushing you know? the spell. They're, <laughs> they're like, like oh! and, it, and it gets close to Harry Potter and he goes he's like ah! and, and he like, pushes <laughs> it out more the other way. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and everyone's crying in the theater. Yeah, everyone's yeah, exactly. Oh shit, man. Including me. Yeah, me too. So, I want to see that with like with the force, you know. Almost like, dude, you're you're like there is fighting. Is there a scene immediately? Like that? Immediately comes to my mind. I know there's at least one part with that kind of style. What exactly what you're talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Revenge of the Sith. I'd okay. say in the early, the first third of the Anakin versus Obi Wan finale fight on the lava planet Mustafar. That's uh, the third movie. That's the third movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, Revenge of the Sith. There's a scene where they they come into the con- control panel area like the the inside room with all the tech computers and stuff and they're like f- fighting over and they're pushing each other over these boards and desks and stuff so this is before stuff. the lava this is right before they get out onto the lava yeah got it and there's a moment where they both go to do a force push on each other oh and they both and their they, hands both meet each other perfectly and they, they fly back and, right? yeah, and they both fly back but yes. there, there's a there's a strong moment there where they're both like their hands are just you see them like just trying wow. to get that, and they're just, and then they both fly back. That's and it, so cool, and man. it's because they both come in, and it's like, and you just see them put. Oh, it's really dope. <laughs> but that's exactly what you're talking about. That's exactly, and yeah. that's one of my favorite moments in that fight because that fight is long, and there's a lot of good moments. But that's there one is. of my favorite moments. There is. I like. Okay, this is what I would want: like a force battle, right? Yeah. But at the end of it, like they don't get pushed back; they like get into like a choke. You know, like the. The classic, yeah, the like, Darth Vader chokehold, the the Sith yeah. choke, yeah, yeah the Sith exactly. Choke. Yeah, I guess a Jedi wouldn't do that, but yeah, Jedi <clears throat> Jedi wouldn't do that. I mean, you see Anakin becoming a Sith because he he ch- he starts choking Padme right, right. before he fights over right. one. Right. You were supposed to be the chosen one. <laughs> yeah. No. Oh man, oh, dude, I balance the Force, not you, destroy. Not it. Is that what is it? It's like you were supposed to bring balance to the Force. Balance not, to the Force. Not, uh, not destroy it. I think he says. <sighs> man, dude. Yeah. I'm doing it. Yeah. <laughs> doing I'm it. I'm doing dude. it, man. That's what I uh that's what I did before uh, Rise of Skywalker is I I binged them all. You pound you pounded them out? Yeah. Wow. It's a good time. Are you gonna hit that other claw? No, I, I, I grabbed that with the intention of you taking it and I figured I figured you would want to get brother. On that. Yeah. Did you uh hear about uh you have anything else you want to talk about? Because I, I Oh man! Dang, got a little spray on your shoulder there. That was hard, dude. Got I a almost little bent it. Spray on your shoulder. That's actually a lot of spray. Dude, that reminds me when I was on. <laughs> what were you about to say? Sorry. No, but that I gotta say, like, 
I told you because this happened when, <laughs> when we were in San Francisco. Mm. I told you about the date I was on, uh, where I got I got pooped on by a bird. Oh, you must have told me, but I completely forgot. Yeah, dude, it was it was early in the. You got pooped on? Yeah, it was like October. On last, your shoulder? Yeah, it was like October or something. I last do kind of remember that, but I don't. Yeah, it was. It was. It was. Uh, it was brutal. Was this one of your? Was this one of the ice cream? And then you're on the bench and you're like talking. Is that the one? Uh, this was the first date I went on in San Francisco. Uh. And we got coffee on campus, and then we were. Was there a bench involved? Yeah, there was a bench involved. Okay, exactly. I think yeah. I, I remember. We we one. walked from the coffee place in the library over to the bench outside on campus, and we were sitting there and enjoying our coffee. I hate coffee. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, then, and then we're just we're chatting. Man, you were really painting the scene there. Yeah, we're sitting there enjoying our coffee. <laughs> I, I despise coffee. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then the bird just just perfectly shits on my on on my left shoulder. She's to I mean, luckily she's to my right, and I get hit on the left shoulder. And so what do you do? Uh, I'm just like I was. Just, I think I said darn or something. Darn. I was just like darn. <laughs> I just thought of. I just thought of when Andy steps in the shit at at, at Dwight's uh, farm when oh, him and Angela yeah, are shopping yeah, yeah. for a place to get married. Yeah. And he steps in and he's just like, darn. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so, and she says, oh, that's good luck. It's good luck. I'm, just, mm-hmm. I'm sitting there thinking like, this doesn't feel like good luck. Yeah. And it doesn't feel like good luck at all. That's definitely not good luck. It, it, it wasn't good luck because she didn't respond to me when I asked her to In fact, that might have been the catalyst. <laughs> She's like, this guy gets shit on. You know, like you can't. <laughs> you know, what do like, you say? I, can't, I can't have a second date with this guy. <laughs> like, you got shit on. I mean. But I'm, hey, you know, if oh, you guys made it. That would have been a really cool story. That would have been a cool story. Sorry. I'm just, but it, but know, it wasn't enough, I'm really though. just rubbing it but in. But <laughs> no, it wasn't like, it's either a good story or a bad sign. Immediately at that moment. She, I, it's still a good story, though. No, you're telling well, it right it's still now. a good story. I'm just saying the way she's seeing it, when it, like, right. when it happens right. in front you're of right. her. Right. She's already made up her mind whether there's going to be a second date. I didn't know at the time how she made up her mind, but I feel like she had already made up her mind at that point. So then when Maybe the, not, dude. You know maybe what? not, but probably. But then when the shit hit my shoulder, it was just like immediately like... Well, she could be superstitious. This is a sign. She could be superstitious. Yeah, but she's like, this is a sign I'm right. Stay away. Or this is a sign this guy's bad luck because whoever gets shit on, you know? Exactly. like That is the one thing you never wish for to happen. You're like, you see all these seagulls flying over, yeah. especially in high school. Yeah. And you're like, ah, oh, fuck, like, is today going to be the Dude, day, that, you know? And that's <laughs> it's all, like you're always afraid of it. Every day at Polly, walking around. Literally I, every day. I, every Literally every day, I was like, is this going to be the day? Mm-hmm. And I remember my last mm-hmm. day as a senior. At Polly, I was just like, I made it. I made it. I was so, I was so psyched. And it's, it's funny to think, it's funny to think that like the college that I ended up graduating from Mm -hmm. first date I go on at that college, I get shit on, you know, it's just like, it, it had to get me at some point, you know, you jinxed it. I jinxed it. You know, I jinxed it by thinking about it every day in high school. And then I got shit on in college. And then you stopped thinking about it in college. See, that was your issue. That's what it was. I I never stopped thinking about it. Anytime I see a bird fly over my head, I go. Yeah, I'm up. I'm eyes I, in the air, and I'm yeah. ready to. I'm ready to go. Like I I'm com- ready to dodge wherever I need to. I completely stopped thinking about it. That was a problem. As soon as that last day of high school ended, it was like I'm in the. Clear. Although you were sitting, so that's that's hard. I was sitting, and I was in a treed area. Like it was a very like ah. luscious tree area, so I wasn't getting a lot of sky openness and seeing what was going on. So low I, visibility. I had. I had. Frank, no you can't shot. live your life like that. I had no <laughs> shot. Dude. You gotta be always prepared. Oh, yeah. No, that is bad luck. Yeah. That is a great story still, though. It, I is, mean, there's, it there's... is. And the fact that I, like, continued the date and still asked for a number at the end of it, it was like, because, because you know. Yeah, like, we, what did we, you do? Because we met on Tinder, so it was just like, like I, I had to get that number at the end, you know. So uh, what did you do? You get shit on, and you're like, darn. I get shit on, I just, I just, you like. You take off your shirt and start. I, I took off my jacket. Oh, your jacket. Okay, good. Yeah, good, it was good, on good, my good. jacket. I took off my jacket. I, I finished the date, and, uh, yeah, I walked her to her next class and I got that number, and then. I was like, hey, I texted her. I was like, hey, like, like, when's that second date? No, I didn't say it like that, but I, I did. I was just like, hey, let's have a second date or whatever. And then I never, I never got a response back. So yeah, the bird, the bird shit was, was what did it? I think. Well, you know what? Maybe you dodged a bullet, literally, I because did. I did. She could have been the bad luck. The bird shit was the sign for me as well. She could have been the bad luck. Yeah. Exactly. And I, and I mean, dodged a bullet because. Who knows? Maybe a bullet's flying by, and either you're with her, or you're not. Mm. And if you're with her, you get hit. Exactly. Because you get hit by bird shit. So yeah, 
the birch. There one. is there. There's a slight correlation there. I'm seeing. Mm-hmm. I still wear that jacket, by the way. I would too. You know what's funny? I wore that jacket on a different date with a different girl in San Francisco a few months later. And you didn't get shit on. And I didn't get shit on. So it's not the jacket. It's not the jacket. <laughs> it's definitely not the jacket. I've been wearing that jacket too much. You know, I've had I've had good times with that jacket. There we go. We're narrowing it down. Yeah. Uh, you asked if I had anything to talk about. I really don't. But I am watching this this uh, show. Is it uh, the Netflix show where they call sex humping? Yes, it is. Okay. So I have told you about it. <laughs> yeah, told, yeah, you told me about it after we wrapped the last episode. Uh, oh, yeah. Cause what, we've been what's it called again? You it's said it's called The Last Kingdom. Okay. It's kind of it's, it's low budget, you said? It's very knockoff Game of Thrones-esque. Okay. Yeah. You're, but you're following, like, without, like, a bunch of mystery. And so it, there's not as much backstabbing I, I and people... Even, I wouldn't even say Game of Thrones, because it's not, like, it's not uh, sci-fi. Yeah. Game of Thrones is sci-fi, right? Science fiction? Now, Game of Thrones is fantasy, right? Okay, you fantasy. Gotta, there you your, go. your genre. It's bad, I this, know. <laughs> this guy was saying Twilight was sci fi. I have drama, <laughs> romance, sci fi. Did, did Scott, did and then Scott not agree with you about <laughs> yeah. Twilight being sci fi? He just. Did well, that. that's because you were wrong. I but, would, anyways. Well, no, I'm not wrong about that. It's definitely <laughs> not science fiction. Uh, all right, so it's fantasy. Yeah, it's fantasy. But it's way. based in like the 1900s in England where like the Vikings were sort of invading England, trying mm-hmm. to like, you know, raid and get new land or whatever. Yeah. And uh, I, it's really good. And so the main character, this is The Last Kingdom. I don't know if I said the name. Yeah, the It's Last on ne- Netflix. Netflix original. It is a Netflix original. Um, and the main character was like raised as a slave, uh, as a Dane, as a Danish or Viking or whatever. Mm-hmm. Ended up like becoming the son of like one of the head guys. Like he accepted him as his own and then sort of raised him as a son. Even though he's like from the enemy pretty much. Yeah, but yeah. he just like, I don't know. I guess he vied with so the, the Danes. So the protagonist is pretty much a person raised in the enemy of his origin. Correct. Yeah. And then, <clears throat> so what happens is like his family, the protagonist's family, mm-hmm. um, or at least his father in the village gets like burned down by a fellow like Danish person. Oh. And it's sort of him trying to get uh, back the land that, he was owed yeah because he was like a lord's son or whatever so he deserved land by like heritage or something mm-hmm. like that anyways so he's dane but now he's like back with like the english people and like they're not mm. accepting him because like they're all like christians and like stuff like that and yeah you know vikings are like not christian not christian exactly <laughs> and so it's really good and there's like a great storyline to it and and they really say hump all the time. And, they... Well, I wouldn't say all the time, but that is what they call but that, it. But that's what they call it, yeah. yeah. And they say ride. Like, how does she ride? <laughs> nice. They're like, you would like to ride her, stuff like that. <laughs> that's good. I, I, I got to think, like, if they're using specific terms like that, they must have done their research and read that that's how Probably. they talk. Okay, one know. thing I noticed is when there's a, when there's a marriage uh-huh. going on, you know how, like, nowadays, like, you hold hands and, like, you say your vows or whatever? Yeah. Okay, get this. And you know how we say, oh, did you tie the knot? Like, you've heard that, right? Tie the knot. Like, yeah, that's you're the term. Married. Yeah. You, did you lock it down? Put the ring on it? Yeah. Exactly. Guess what, dude? What? Okay. Literally, they put their hands together. And they tie a knot And, like, the them. priest ties a knot around their hands. And then that, and then they say their, like, vows or whatever. Yeah. Crazy, huh? That's probably where the... That's where the origin... The that's term, where it comes from. The term from. came from, yeah. Have you tied the knot? Have you tied the knot? Yeah, it's a really good show. Um, I don't know. I don't know um, if How most many people seasons like it. Are on there? There's four seasons, and I'm on what? the fourth season. There's now. four seasons. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. So what did it start in 2016 or 2015 or something? Like, uh, Pete's Media. I don't know. Because it's, if they, it's, if it's they, pretty modern. If they have four seasons, then it must have like. I'm pretty sure it's still going. Like, it's I don't just, think it stopped. What I'm saying is, it's impre- It's always impressive to me when a Netflix series can get past two seasons. I think so too. Because there's so many Netflix series. Yeah, that's true. Even the good ones don't always get past the second season. Um, well, so they got this really good looking male as the the lead oh, actor. Okay. And one thing that I I like make fun of all the time in the show mm-hmm. is they will cycle through the main female characters like nothing. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's crazy. Like he has had like the main <laughs> character. It's terrible, dude. It's literally terrible. He has had. Yeah. Within the first season, uh-huh. okay, within the first season, yeah, he had gotten a girl, like, pregnant, okay, yeah. married someone, uh-huh. divorced, 
and then got with this other girl who then died. Mm. It's like, mm. it's interesting. It's really, I mean, it's honestly like one of the frustrations that I have because like, I'm a fan of like a strong female character yeah. in the beginning or like someone like, you know, alongside like, so you're saying there's really no strong female character in the show. Well, there is, but not that well, not one that he that has the, a relationship with. It just seems that the love interest, like you can't get attached to it because like because she's going to be gone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, you know that takes me to I think what uh, could be a good closer is have you ever heard of the Bechdel test? Um, I think I, I want to just double check that I'm saying the that right. Bechdel Bechdel test. <clears throat> no, I've heard of the Turing test. Okay. Well. Um, Okay, yeah, I got it right. Yeah, Bechdel, B E C H, B E C H D E L. So, this is a test that once you know it is and understand it, it's it's pretty funny to watch any sort of television or film production. Um, it. Okay, it is the fact that most if a movie can't if a movie cannot pass the Bechdel test, that means that there is nothing in the movie. No scene in the movie where two female characters are talking about something that isn't related to a male. So if your movie has wow. a if your movie has a scene about <clears throat> about two women talking about fishing or talking about literally anything that doesn't have to do with a male. I don't okay. know why fishing came to my mind. Um, talking That's about, a very male thing to do. Too. It is a very male. How, how sexist of me to not be able to come up with something. Well, I mean, at least you didn't say knitting. That would really be sexist. Exactly. Yes. So really, you're non-sexist right now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. It, it and then when you know that, so test, then it would pass. It would it would it would pass the Bechtel test if you had a scene of two uh, women talking about fishing. See. Yeah. And then, but many movies, if you pay attention to that whole and then it will uh, never pass will never pass yeah so a movie doesn't pass the Bechdel test if every time a, a f- two females are talking having a conversation on their own they're talking they're it's something to do with a male you know I guarantee the show would not pass that test yeah and even movies that like it's fun to look up like you can just look up on like movies that pass the Bechdel test mm-hmm. and you'll have movies on there that actually kind of surprise you like wow that doesn't pass the Bechdel test mm. like there's probably, if not every Harry Potter movie, probably none of them pass the Bechdel test. Well, no, because Harry Harry's like the main character, right? So everybody's always talking about Harry. And then there's Hermione, and then he has like a few. But I I bet like every scene where Hermione and Ginny are talking together, they're talking about it's Harry. about Ron or Harry or Harry. You know, it's 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 an interesting. There thing was that though. Luna girl, or Luna, right? Yeah, the Luna girl, yeah. And that love interest. But did Luna ever fifth. talk to anybody except Harry when Harry was around? That's true because she was like kind of she was kinda, weird and shy. Kind of weird Harry and shy. Yeah, yeah. I'm not trying to single out Harry Potter. It, pretty much every movie but doesn't you know, follow this test. I mean, we don't have to talk about Harry Potter because the writer is really not, you know, all there. Oh yeah, that's true. Maybe that's true. But she didn't write the screen. I don't. She didn't write the screenplays for the movies. Oh, that's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Um, still, but still, yeah, you're right. Um, but yeah, it's 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 an interesting the Bechdel test, it's huh? An, yeah, I learned about it in at at San Francisco. Uh, and it is crazy, like when I'm watching the show, yeah. And it's just the way they think, and this isn't even about like you know male or female, but it, I mean it kind of is. Mm-hmm. But it's like the way that they used to think back then, or at least like the king, it's like King Alfred or whatever. Yeah. Literally everything they think about is like, okay, this is God's will. Like, mm-hmm. God has decided this, and we will pray. Like, literally after mm-hmm. everything. Like, they're mm-hmm. about to go into battle. He's like, pray. we will, you know, talk to Uhtred, and we will see if he will join us, and we will pray. It's like everything, dude. Yeah. Everything is just surrounded by this, like, idea. Mm-hmm. And it's like, if you stray away from it, like, you could get killed. Like, yeah. it, it is it's fucking insane. And it's like, that was probably, I mean, it can't be that far off, you know? Like, how dedicated some people were back then and how how much they re- like revolved society around it you know around around uh religion you mean around religion yeah and then this is like the the nine nine hundreds mm-hmm. of england so okay 
So like nine zero zero. Nine zero zero. I was gonna gotcha. say nineteen hundreds, but that's not. Yeah, right. but that was like, well, that's kind of recent. <laughs> I was like, dang, Vikings in nineteen hundred. Yeah, I'd love to see that. Yeah. No, I'm sorry, that would be terrible. There's a lot of killing involved. You mean a sh- wait? I thought you meant like you'd love to sh- see a show set in nineteen hundred where Vikings were still around. Okay, I would love to really see that. That'd be kind of cool. But I wouldn't like to see it in reality. Oh, you know? yeah, yeah. I, mean, obviously. <laughs> I just was confused by what you said because you're like, yeah, I wouldn't really want to see that in 1900. Like we had a time machine and we could like go <laughs> back to 900 and then grab some Vikings and then go to 1900. <laughs> like, let's not do that. Let's not. I don't want to do that. I don't want to use the time machine like that. Would you use your time machine to go into the future or the past? Uh, ooh. <clears throat> see, I've thought about this because I, I like. I would like to think that mm-hmm. if I went into the past, I could be like some fucking genius and invent all the things that have been invented. Yeah. But yeah, I saw. I was like scrolling through Reddit the other day, mm-hmm. and there's a popular page, and in the popular page, there's a there's a shower thoughts subreddit, right? Nice. Or post from it. Those and are one of the good. and one of the shower thoughts is, mm-hmm. you know, even if a time machine was invented, yeah, and you went back. Yeah. You're not smart enough to make the inventions that were made today, so nothing would be invented faster than it already had. And so you'd be stuck where you went back. Well, no, th- but you would be like you wouldn't be as famous as you think you would. Like you wouldn't be like like if I went back, I'd be like, "Oh, like I would, you know, like fuck it, like I'm I'll create solar panels or I'll I'll But you don't know how I'll to. I'll create the fidget spinner, you know? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but you like, don't know how to though. But I wouldn't know how to yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And so you think you that you you'd be like all of that. But in reality, you wouldn't. Yes. Therefore, you'd be so ashamed and you wouldn't say anything, which means that time travel could be real. Wait, wait, wait. You'd no, that's my shower thought. But hold, really, wait, but wait, really... hold on. You went too fast <laughs> for me. You lost. Okay, me. okay, okay. Let me, so let me go back. I, I was following you up until the point where you said um, that would mean that nobody would say anything, which means that. So I get okay. Look, I get what you're saying. <clears> the <throat> fact that if I went back to 1920. Yeah. I couldn't... And created the fidget spinner. Exactly. Okay. And I walked up to someone in 1920. I said, oh my God, like I got a million dollar idea. Fidget spinner. Mm -hmm. And I explained it to them. Mm -hmm. And they're like, how do we make it? And I'm like, I don't know. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that would apply to everything. Yeah, exactly. That I think I could make money off of. Whether whether it be Tesla or iPhone. I'd be like, guess what? There's this really cool thing called iPhone. It's really sleek. It's got an apple on the back. Mm -hmm. It's a screen button, all that stuff. Okay, sweet. How do we make it? Shoot, I don't know. Exactly. So you're saying that the fact that that is the way it would Probably be. Probably reality, yeah. Means that there could be time travelers among us because they wouldn't say anything if they if they never thought of what we're talking about. Like if someone accidentally invents a time machine 50 years from now in 2070. Okay. And they're like, oh my God, we can time travel. Let's go back in time and get rich. Exactly. And they immediately press like, go, time travel, mm-hmm. without having this conversation we're having. Mm-hmm. They end up in 1920, and they're like, they're about to walk up to somebody, and right before they say, hey, want to hear about the iPhone? They're like, shit, I don't know how to make that. And then they just go about their day and find a job. Pretty much. Pretty much is you're stupider than you think. You're, you're stupider than you think you are. Because once you get chills. back there, you can't create anything because yeah. you're not that smart, actually. Yeah. Shit. And then you're too ashamed to say anything. Yeah. So you just live life like a regular person. Yeah. Nobody knows that time travel has been invented, basically. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? I get what you're saying. All right. I don't know why I brought that up, but... But I like that. Uh, it was what new. did you ask me before that? Well, I asked you, would you rather go into the future or the past? Okay. Yeah. Probably the future, yeah. since I don't want to go to the past, because I would be ashamed of not being able to create anything. <laughs> And it also really, all, but it also like with, with what we're talking about with the shame thing that yeah. would that would apply to the rules of you travel to the future. I mean, you travel to the past, and the time machine you have doesn't go with you. So no, like, of course not. Okay, and this is this is a huge that's got yeah. This you're is a right. huge question of time travel. Is the is this machine where we have? Is it something that absorbs us and sends us back just ourselves, or does this or is this something we hold on to physically, and then when we travel with it, it's in our hands when we get to a spot. I, I don't I don't because I've seen time travel movies where it works both ways. Well, the DeLorean, the DeLorean, Back to the Future. Yeah, Back to the Future. Yeah, that, that's the item. That that's that's the you know having the car the item. Yeah. goes through goes through, and then but that's how they get back. I guess if we're basing it off that, then then 
going into the past would be just as cool. Exactly. Yeah. Well, then you could just do whatever the fuck you want. Yeah, you right? could go in the past and then just come back. You could be like, wow, this is a really cool day to spend at the parade, and then but I'm now I'm back. on the premise of you only have, the like, one trip. it's just, like, the your mask gets sent, like, nothing else. You know, like, just your body. Just your body, yeah. And then you have no time machine, you're just there. Right, exactly. You go future all the way. In fact, you're naked, which makes it, like, you really gotta want it. Now, you know? that's Terminator. <laughs> 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 they get sent back naked. I mean, I'm just saying, you know, like. Yeah. If you're really gonna time travel, like, it's it's only you. Yeah, nothing's okay. on you. Yeah, then I'm going future, and I think I'm going future anyway. I'm going way in the future because like, I'm can, going. I'm going like. Oh, I'm going way. Yeah, way. Dude, in the future I'm going too. like people be like, ah, oh, you know, I I go like 100 years. Like, no, 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 not going like. I'm going like 50k. I'm going 50k, bro. I'm I seeing might, what's going on, and I might just instantly perish. Yeah, I and kinda, I'm okay with that. I kind of want to go to the year 3005 just for the Childish Gambino song, but you know, that's just me. <sighs> That's just me, you know, picking the easy answer. Could you imagine like 50,000 years? Yeah, 50,000 50, years. 50,000 years would be I mean, that's yeah. only 1,000 years when I'm talking about 50,000 years. Whew. God. We're not going to know. But also, <clears throat> we're not going to know, Ryan. I mean, we'll never know. I know, but we we don't know. Uh, who cares though? <laughs> if time travel was invented uh-huh. in 2020, yeah. Right? Let's say you had that option right now. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't we already know? Because if time travel was invented now, you you got to think. Actually, time travel has never been invented, okay? It will never be a thing because... It can't be a thing. It's it's impossible, right? Well, I, we don't know. Probably. It hurts I'm not a brain. scientist. It hurts my brain, dude. I'm not a scientist. I don't know. Work? Here's the thing. Here's the thing. If time travel was invented, yeah. why has no one come back already? Why has no one done the thing, the stupid thing that we were saying about? Yes. You know? Yes. Why has no one come back and said, I am the Messiah. I am from 2030 yes. or, you know, 12, yeah. 20, 10, whatever. Yeah. Never happened. Never happened. Maybe we just think they're crazy. Maybe it has been invented. Well, I mean, there's definitely been some people who've been, you know, in just screaming on the street, I'm from the future, I'm from the future. And this is... And we're like, oh, you're crazy. And this is what I'm saying. We yeah. will never, I guess we'll never know if time travel has been invented because people are too stupid to invent the things that have already been invented. Therefore, yeah, we either think they're crazy or they're they're too embarrassed to say they were from the future. Fuck, dude. I mean, I'm really just yeah. making a joke here. I'll, but honestly, yeah, kind of makes sense. I mean, if we're talking about Netflix original series, though, which is kind of how we got here. Wow. That would be a good one. I'm 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 slinging it back to another Netflix original series. Let's do it. Dark. What? How? What are we at? Oh, wrap wrap it. I'm gonna wrap it up on this dark suggestion dude, here. Watch good watch show. Dark. Have you been watching it, dude? Wait, is that? It's the German time travel show that Sam got me into. Oh no 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 no! I'm sorry, Ryan. I'm thinking of Evil. Ryan, watch really? Dark. I will. It's on, on Netflix. Nef on Netflix. Great. Three, I have Netflix. Three seasons, and it all is a perfect. And Amanda will like it, dude. Right. I, subtitles? Subtitles. It, like it's subtitles. It, right? It's subtitles. It's, okay. it, you, you're not. You have no problem following anything, and and it's fun to it's fun to kind of hear the German again. Yeah, I highly recommend it. Cool. You'll love it. Time travel, real trippy. So many plot twists. So many what the fuck moments. I have to watch the next episode. Great characters. Great love stories. Dude, great I stuff. I have a love hate relationships with shows like that. Because you're like, they always end on... In, the Last Kingdom does the same shit. They oh, yeah. end on the major cliffhanger. Almost and you're every like, show does that now. Fuck! Dude, almost every uh, show does you're that You're so now. upset. Because you're like, I don't want to stay up longer. I, I was supposed to work out at 7 a.m. today. Guess what? I stayed up till 3. <laughs> Watching Last Kingdom? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and I had to work at 9. Well, that's how it goes. I know. Well... Anyways. <laughs> watch Last All Kingdom, right. watch Dark, watch Wonder Woman 1984. Love y'all. Like, subscribe if you made it this far. Uh, if you want to hear us talk about something on your mind, please let us know. Mm -hmm. Episode fifty two is, is coming up. Is the, next the, week. Yeah, the, our year, our year anniversary. anniversary episode. Yeah, yeah, dude. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for listening. Thanks for subscribing. We love y'all. Absolutely. Peace out. Peace out. <laughs>